I was designed to save the world. People who have looked to the sky and see hope. I'll take that from them first. There's only one path to peace. They're an extinction. I tried to create a suit of armor around the world. But I created something terrible. Artificial intelligence. It's called the Ultron Program. Avengers Age of Ultron. So Avengers Age of Ultron is written and directed by Joss Whedon, the same as the first one. It stars... Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man, Chris Evans as Captain America, Chris Hemsworth as Thor, Mark Ruffalo as the Hulk, Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow, Jeremy Renner as Hawkeye, Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury, Elizabeth Olsen as Scarlet Witch, Alan, Aaron Taylor Johnson as Quicksilver, and James Spader as Ultron. It's overall, it's amazing, really. It takes me, a, it took me a while to get into the movie, but it's really an amazing movie. It's got, it's got good storytelling, good characters that you like. The villain's not the worst Marvel villain. Despite it took me in, into, despite it took me a while to get into the mo into the movie, it is my favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe universe movie to date. It, it's marketed as dark and gritty and it's going to be like this new it's going to set up a whole new darker side of the Marvel Universe in but that's kind of false marketing not unlike the last trailer where they had fun with it there's a lot of fun in this movie there's a lot of humor in this movie it's it's slightly different tone to the rest of the Marvel movies it's a, it certainly is a lot it's maybe not as dark as Captain America the Winter Soldier but it's still a lot darker than the other Marvel movies. There's still all these jokes, there's these running jokes, there, there's a lot of humour. The one thing that worked well, maybe not the best, it's not the strongest element of the movie, but one thing that worked well is how they combined humour and the action sequences. So in the middle of an action sequence, they would, ha they would have this quick joke. It, would, it takes away from the action sequence a little bit, but not too much that it takes you out of the movie. The cinematography overall is pretty good. The opening fight sequence has really good long action shots that you know what's going on. There are group shots that are great. The music enhanced the action. It enhanced a lot of the scenes, and I felt that some of I really like some of the score. For me, the movie really came together oh, towards the end. To maybe towards the end of the second act. I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, but after watching it multiple times, it the movie the movie flows. But it felt like the original. It felt like the most fun part of the movie was, and the most probably the better part of the movie was the final act. Uh, Joss Whedon's direction. It's really good. It's really fun. It's fast paced. It's exciting. It's you really like the characters and you want to and you're having fun and watching them. One thing that they complained on, that he complained about, is that the cut that he has, that was released, wasn't his final cut. I really want to see, like, the original three-hour cut, because then it would have given, uh, some scenes felt a little too rushed, some scenes felt a little too long for the whole movie, and it, I felt like it would the movie would have just flowed better. To comment more on the writing, it really does characters like Hawkeye and Hulk justice, because they were underused or in the first movie. And you really, get, there is a lot more development towards them and you really get to understand their characters. The chemistry among every single one of the actors is great. The chemistry between Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans. The, the back and forth they have. The back, every group, every person in this group, they have fun with it. It's like, I've heard that most of the downtime with the Avengers, it's mostly improvised. So that scene when they're, when they're trying to lift Thor's hammer, that's really good to watch. It's really fun to watch. Some people are complaining about the lack of setup for Captain America Civil War. Me personally, I wasn't too disappointed with it. 
I realize that there's Ant-Man still to go after Avengers, and then there's Captain America Civil War. So you would you would imagine you'd get more set up then. Jeremy Renner makes this movie by far. Hawkeye just comes off as such a more relatable and funny character. You really get to care about him, and you get more development for him. James Spader, he was he was fantastic. He was his motion ca capture for Ultron was amazing. He is perceived as this, this big, dark character that was bring the end of the world as it is, but in reality, he is just a, he's just really humorous. He's funny. He's kind of like Tony Stark, but in a robot. The visual effects, they are good. They You can tell they're visual effects, but they never stand out as visual effects. Like, you're never going, okay, that's clearly fake. You're like, alright, that's visual effects, but it still looks realistic enough. The Hulk vs. Hulkbuster scene, that was pretty good. That was really good. That was one of the better part. That was one of the better parts. The best parts of the movie, just Hulkbuster and Hulk going at it with Iron Man, with Tony Stark, just having these just talking through throughout. The origin of Ultron felt a bit rushed and probably could have been extended a little bit more. But then again, that's just more of a nitpick than a complaint. I really loved the final action sequence. It was really fun. It was. Really interesting. You thought the the stakes are really high at this stage, but then again, the uh, the villain is has just an army of drones, like the first one. It's not so much the same. It's definitely not the same ending as the first one because it's de it's not the same ending as the first one. They go through. They do probably pull off the ending a bit a lot better in my opinion. This movie it's well directed, well written, really well acted. It's got great visual effects. The score is amazing. Some of the scenes felt a little bit short or rushed. The tone is a little bit darker than the rest of the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe, but not as dark as Captain America the Winter Soldier. For me, this is a must-see movie, and I'm going to give Avengers Age of Ultron a 9.5 out of 10. I highly recommend this movie. It's one of the best I've seen this year. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. Please share this video as well. You can find me on Snapchat at platypus0015. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.